y'all look at what is outside our condo right now. Oof. I'm burying a dead body. Oh my. Excuse you. Um, okay, so yeah, outside our condo, there's been this like major leak. Um, I don't really know like what exactly. It's like the main water pipe is leaking. So um, the water bill was way more expensive. It's, it like seemed like we were using so much, oh my gosh. <laughs> it seemed like we were using so much more water than we actually were. So like the water bill was like crazy expensive. So it was just an issue they had to fix. Go yeah. in my way, dog. <laughs> so anyway, they're working on that. I It looked like they were leaving, so I'm not sure. I guess they'll have to come back again. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a mess and it's right outside of our condo, which is it's really pretty to look at. not the cutest for <laughs> sure. But right now we're on our way to PetSmart. Ginger's gonna say hi to some of her friends, but she's out of dog food, so, and out of her greenies, oh, yeah. Boy, yes. So we're gonna go get that. Um, and then we have to do some more shopping because we have a wedding this weekend. We have an engagement party next weekend. Y'all know how it goes. So we have some shopping to do. And then when we get back, I'm gonna chat to you about my, this past week for me has just been brutal. So we will chat a little bit when we get back. Okay, see ya. Okay, we are back from shopping and doing our errands. Um, we did pretty well getting everything we needed. Yeah, I yeah, we accomplished. Yeah. We accomplished what we needed to. What are you looking at? I don't want to like show the stuff just because we're like gifting it to yeah. people in a few days. So whatever. Anyway. Just trust that the stuff is good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Good drinks. All right, right now we're filming this. It's Friday the 25th around like 4.20 p.m. Um, what happened, what I'm about to like talk to you guys about happened on Monday which was the 21st around like noon. Um, I was literally, I was just on FaceTime with my friend and for, I don't know, maybe like 40 minutes max. I don't even know, but whatever. I was fine, like doing my thing on FaceTime. And then I got off FaceTime and all I did, truthfully, all I did was just look to my left to see what Ginger was doing. And my whole neck seized up the right side of my neck it just went and i literally like i was stuck like this i could not move i couldn't turn it i couldn't even like sit up straight it was so painful and i just started panic like actual panic attack like which was kind of not good either because like i'm starting to cry and everything but like because my chest is like moving up and down like like whatever, that was making it even more painful. So I managed to like, luckily my phone was near me. I grabbed my phone, Sean was at work. And like, so I called him and I think, you know, like I wouldn't like yeah. call yeah. you. Yeah, I, I knew it was like something was up because she she knows that I'm at school. Like <laughs> I, I'm not really on my phone ever. So when I saw that she called, I was like, all right, something's wrong. And then she texted me, help. Yeah. So I was like, oh, no, oh, I know no. That's what happened? So I have dramatic. no idea what happened. Trust <laughs> me, I know that help is dramatic, but I was like, okay, I need to like get his attention. Yeah. Because I was by myself and couldn't move. Like I, act, I, I didn't know what to do. And I was like, is this something really serious? Like, is this going to get worse? Like, am I like, do I need to go to the hospital? Like I was just freaking out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I texted him. Or whatever. I mean, after I said help, he did call me back. <laughs> um, it's like, what's going on? <laughs> and even on the phone, though, I was like, I don't want to make you leave work. Yeah. But I think you could tell because I was like, I know when she's in, in so much pain. When she's in like kind of panic mode, I know when she like, and she, so I'm like, okay, she, she'll she'll say like, oh no, it's 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 fine. But I know internally, she's like freaking out yeah i was like so, i don't want like, you to leave but i'm also crying and breathing heavy and i can't turn my neck oh stop it we're filming it's okay i need to get up i need to move um she i think she's probably she barks when things are out of place and right now like the camera is on the tripod <laughs> or whatever so she's like weird about yeah. it yeah <laughs> but anyway so he came home from work left home left work early 
then my mom actually came over or came back and I was in, I was literally like, it never got better. Yeah. It literally didn't get better. And, and then I was panicking because I had work in a few hours. Like I literally had to leave at four. So it happened around noon and I had to leave at four. So I was just so stressed out and I had to like choreograph and learn stuff for work. So for those of you, if you're new here, I teach dance. So there's that. But so, yeah, I'm like trying to, I know how much I have to do to like prepare before work. And I literally couldn't turn my head and I was just in so much pain. I couldn't sit up straight and he like would try to help me and I it, like I couldn't. Yeah. Um, she, Cause the way she was sitting, like she, it was not good the way yeah. she was sitting. So I was like, all right, you gotta sit up. But she like couldn't, she couldn't move. And I couldn't like lay flat either. Like it was so painful, but anyway. Sorry, while all this is happening, she's just like freaking out. <laughs> she's <laughs> stop, stop it. It's a cage in you. It's so gremlin-y. Um, so stop it. Basically, I was doing like ice, ice and heat, ice and heat, blah blah blah. Uh, took medicine, whatever, and then I get to work, and I. Luckily, like with, I have an assistant in like the one class and so, some of my later classes are older, older students. So they could kind of like either decipher just what I was saying or they could kind of like take charge a little bit. So, uh, I didn't overdo it. I, I was kind of like feeling low because I, I was going to film an audition that night for this show I really wanted to audition for. And I like, I just couldn't. And I feel like the old me would have like pushed through and like hurt myself even more. Yeah, but I was like, good. you know what? I just can't, I can't do it. And I was also feeling really low. Like I was, was very, I was just feeling pretty depressed because again, if, if those of you haven't seen like my old videos or some of our old videos, I literally feels like I just got done six months worth of physical therapy. So I had like fractured and sprained my ankle a year ago. And then my, I was going to, the original plan was for me to go to physical therapy for a back injury from dance, where long story short, my sacrum is tilted and I have a herniated disc in my lower back. So I'm just in pain every single day. And my, like if I sit for too long and I stand up, my back goes, like I have yeah. to get it back into place. Like it's just, it's painful. And I've been living with it for so long. And so my PT was for my back. And then when I, it, a week before PT is when I hurt my ankle. So I showed up to PT with crutches and a boot. And so then my physical therapy and from my back, we learned that I also have like a connected hip issue from everything. No. So I ended up being in physical therapy for six months and it was like several days a week working on my ankle, my back and my hip. And it just took like six months of my life. And like, I enjoyed my, my therapist and I enjoyed like going, I enjoyed feeling like I was getting stronger. It's not that I didn't enjoy that, but it's just like, when I look at like my life in as like a bigger picture, like, I just feel like I lost so much time dancing and I feel like I lost so much time like doing other things and whatever so with like all my injuries so then when like this thing with my neck happened which was literally like Monday I just was feeling really low about that mm -hmm. um and then I was panicking because I had work and panicking that I couldn't like it was just a mess so anyway I spoke with my doctor Monday evening and I do you want to go get her yeah up. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I spoke with my, ow, literally that just hurt. Um, I spoke with my doctor Monday evening, told her what happened. Now, a little bit of a backstory. I have been wondering for a few months now if I have a pinched nerve. Um, and the reason being because sometimes I struggle like falling asleep because just my right arm but my elbow or my fingers will go numb or tingly and i just like can't get myself comfortable um and this has been happening for 
a few months. So I have been wondering, but obviously, like, I think because I just went through six months of PT, like, it was just like hoping it really wasn't a big deal. Like, you know, I was just pushing it off. Um, so I did explain to my doctor, I was like, I have been wondering this because of my symptoms, the numbness, X, Y, Z. And basically she said that it probably is what happened is I probably do have a pinched nerve and it like the tension and everything it's just been kind of building up like many things to then create like a big spasm so I am on so she prescribed me a muscle relaxer so that's where I'm at now I am since Tuesday I've been taking a muscle relaxer so I ha at night so like ibuprofen during the day, muscle relaxer at night. And then of course I'm using like the heating pad and mm -hmm. all the icy, I'm doing like everything I can. Um, but yeah, so the muscle relaxer has been helping me. I can now like turn, like I couldn't turn to the right at all, but I can now turn like this much. Um, I still can't, like I can tilt my head to the left. I still can't tilt my head to the right. Um, so that hopefully but i'm gonna be on this muscle relaxer for a week and after doing that for a week i have to like follow back up with my doctor and see if i need to come in for like further scans or testing or any of that stuff so please pray that it does get better in a week and i don't have to do anything further um and also just like pray for my mental state because i really like there's been a lot of tears this week yeah. So, um, trying to think of anything else like with my, well, this is like kind of backtrack, but literally, and you could ask any of my teachers at any of the studios I've been to in this past week that I teach at, I literally, my head was like this, like I couldn't even put it straight. So I was like this and my, my shoulder was like this much lower than my other one. Mm. I just looked like a crooked, lopsided mess <laughs> and it was painful. So luckily, I definitely am getting better, I will say that, but I just hope that by the end of the week, it's all good. Yes. So that's been my week. <laughs> hope you've had a better week than yeah. me. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really scary. Also too, I said to Sean, like, and I know this sounds kind of weird or whatever but I was like I don't know if you keep it with celebrity news but like Hailey Bieber just had a blood clot in her neck so literally when it was happening to me and my brain just went like to every possible scenario like I was really panicking um so in a sense I'm like thankful that it's a muscle spasm pinch nerve situation rather than something way more serious yeah um so yeah like duh like very thankful about that but you can only imagine like it was just scary and the way that people sometimes your mind goes like oh it could be like the worst possible thing it's yeah yeah, yeah it sucks but at least you're getting better it's it's uh, like honestly it's like 10 times better from the beginning of the week like the fact her mobility the fact that she can just even do that yeah. she couldn't even do anything except just this that yeah was it. It was i will really say sad. The, like, the, oh. it was sad like i like i told i get like like sometimes with her i get like sympathy pains like i like my neck was hurting because i was like i feel bad like but like i, I don't know if you guys ever get that like if any couples out there like if like your partners and is like hurting a whole lot or like there's like something specific like maybe like their stomach or something like that like i if she her stomach isn't feeling well i i it's weird i start to not feel well <laughs> i added like sympathy yeah well and then also too like i know i don't have a human baby but like i like ginger so what it is all baby you know I know, she's not human. you're a baby you're a baby but i felt like mom guilt because <laughs> i like couldn't move for several days and then she was I think bored yeah because Sean's at work and I like can't like play with her or walk her so she, or like do she was acting stuff. out a lot she was so bad yeah. the past few days like beyond her worst behavior and but I did I had like mom guilt because I felt like I wasn't like being a good like owner yeah you know 
So definitely pray for us. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Until next time.